all right what is up youtube and real life traders from around the world this is robert falco from real life trading i hope you enjoyed our free week open house last week it was absolutely phenomenal to see so many new traders out there and get to know everyone and so many of you that joined the room as well so here is your monday stock review first i'll start with the spy we did close at another all-time high so uh, pretty bullish candle on the weekly chart last week and today just uh, another small gap down and just got bought up here's the cues again very tiny gap down got bought up a little bit uh, and another close at an all-time high on the qqq we do still have a little bit at least right now we still have a little bit of divergence on the rsi again we had it over here and it uh, looks like we're getting it a little bit again on the SPY and the Qs. So we will see what happens if that divergence plays out or not. It's a big, big earnings week this week. All the big boys and girls reporting. Let's go over to Tesla. This was a highly anticipated one and um, pretty much indecision so far today. And then the earnings after hours. Uh, they did really really well dan and i'll have a review for you hopefully tomorrow on the tesla earnings report but the numbers were great uh, so i don't think that was anything super surprising from a standpoint everybody thought they were going to do well we knew that they had big quarter two deliveries so um yeah just good earnings numbers um, no real gap the conference call was a little weird but again we'll go into more of that uh detail <laughs> Uh, and Dan and my review uh, tomorrow. But so far, it looks like no real gap on Tesla. Maybe a small uh, gap up. Amazon, I mean, look at this pullback on Amazon. Let's go to a weekly. This thing had been going sideways for about a year. Broke out, retested. And uh, I mean, who wasn't buying some Amazon here? This retest of these two old highs at 3552, 35.54. It's just uh, very, very clean. And uh, we do have earnings this week. So if you don't want to hold over earnings, you had a great opportunity to, you know, like let's say this right, right where I bought last week on that dip. I mean, that's a 5% move if you wanted to uh, sell today before earnings. Personally, I'm going to hold some, Am I'm holding Amazon over earnings um, for my longer term position and uh, most of the shares that I bought over here. I know the other thing that was big this morning out there in the market was the Chinese stocks getting absolutely shredded. And I know Kathy Wood was unloading. Kudos to Kathy. And ARK Invest. She was unloading all of her Chinese stocks last uh, last week, I think it was. Uh, Tencent, Baidu, uh, just all of them unloading. And uh, really good timing. I mean, look at this EDU. These are these Chinese uh online education i think the chinese uh, government told them that they need to go non-profit so this thing is down oh man i mean it's it's down in penny stock land uh it's down 90 percent. i think the same thing with tal just getting absolutely crushed i mean just murdered um also penny stock land go to also in penny stock land i think muddy waters might have called this out as a scam back over here somewhere it had this run up on the bill wang thing and then it just got uh, completely obliterated so these three are all probably going to go to zero uh they're penny stocks so they're not marginable anymore institutions can't and won't invest in them and if they got to go non-profit i mean you know what chance do they really have so um baba also i mean there is literally nothing bullish about this baba chart again i don't think bob is going to go out of business or become a non-profit or anything like that however uh, we're not the only exchange that it's listed on and if i just look at this chart uh here's an island reversal right here that's uh failed to fill and then this candle we have an abandoned baby gap right here there was a small bullish hammer oh man just such a crazy uh bearish gap and go it also got below this both of these weeklies and this weekly pivot, the weekly 200 is there. So uh, Baba just got absolutely train housed today. Down 7% is a massive, massive down day. Uh, here's K-Web. This is the Crane Shares um, Chinese Internet Trust. 
uh, giant middle finger pattern um, getting really really beat up I mean this is back into where we were uh, back in like the height of the trade war uh, and all of this accumulation that went on uh, here's Baidu also just getting completely clobbered I saw a chart of Bob Baidu sorry versus uh, Google I mean wow what a can't even compare these things really um, so that looks horrible and JD.com also just getting completely smashed uh, JD is also off of its high uh, about 40 percent a lot of volume coming in today on uh on jd but we still got a little bit more room to the weekly 100 so i think we could make it down there uh here's just my and again i'm just a dude on the internet so take it for what it's worth but here's my opinion on the chinese stocks uh, i would not want to own any of them individually especially own them overnight you want to day trade them go for it short every rip you know if you get a, a washout to the downside and you want to play it bullish go for it as far as buying any of these things and holding them to me they're absolutely uninvestable uh this is the question that i would ask so if kathy wood was unloading all these things how long until other money managers start unloading all of their chinese stocks and what happens when the second one does it and then the third and then it just cascades into just this huge selling I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but it's definitely a possibility. And uh, there, if there's some fiduciary money managers out there, like can they really justify owning these things uh, if they're keeping their best interests of their clients in mind? Again, I'm not a fiduciary, so I don't know. Maybe they want to. Uh, here's how I'm gonna play uh, this Chinese stock massacre. Um, absolute zero call options on KWeb. The $55 November calls. So that's uh, right here, 55 bucks. These are, well, let's just go in. These are November call options. So this is an absolute zero. I think these things were three bucks today. So, you know, $300 per contract that you buy. Worst case scenario, they go to zero and you know exactly how much money you're gonna lose. But it's very, very tough right now. Like, let's say you do buy JD and you're like, oh, I'm gonna lean on this low and put a stop here. Well, this thing could gap down, you know, to 62 or 60 or, you know, God forbid it does a, a go to or a towel <laughs> or an EDU and gaps down. Like, I mean, this thing's down 34%. So I just, yeah, be very, very careful. This is how I'm playing them. And uh, other than that, I'm not gonna own any of them. For a while, I was saying, hey, 10 cent. You know but this has gotten completely smashed and you're stuck there's no way to hedge this if you're in it because it's an over-the-counter stock you have to use puts on kweb or some other type of derivative uh like that so and then even baba looks uh looks brutal looks like it's going lower uh i mean earnings are coming up i mean this thing could come all the way down to 170 again is it going to go to zero i have no idea could they get delisted I don't know honestly maybe they should all get delisted at this point and we can just move on or maybe they should just not uh not let these things list in uh on the u.s stock exchanges anymore but that's my thought that's the way i'm playing the uh china stocks absolute zero k web november 55 calls and you know exactly how much you're gonna lose or i know exactly how much i'm gonna lose if this thing does not bounce and just continues to get absolutely shredded but otherwise be very very careful manage your risk and don't forget your biggest risk is really not hitting that uh, subscribe button and the little bell for notifications and not checking out our website at reallifetrading.com so thanks so much everyone love life live life trade it have a great day